it is poppin storytellers today i am going to be looking at a dead genre of roblox game a type of roblox game that you used to see a whole lot but uh now is sort of gone right like when is the last time you've seen a roblox story game be honest with me be honest if you lie i will know it and i will kill you remember to like the video before you die though but yeah roblox story games they used to be a huge huge deal like a new big one was released every week and youtubers would make videos on it because you know free content we all love free videos ideas but now they're just sort of gone like you remember the big ones like camping like if we go to camping i love camping out in mysterious woods with a monster this definitely won't be a bad idea <laughs> who's ready to die but yeah you look at the original game of camping and it only has 300 people playing it now and it just sort of makes you wonder where did these go right whatever happened to samson 16 16 is in roman numerals because he's so fancy and awesome am i right but like whatever happened to him what games did he start making well those are the questions i'm going to answer in in this video or try to answer look man i don't know but look at this his bio is just made camping and uh some other stuff okay i respect that but look after he made mansion which was like a really big hit story game he moved on to make something called armageddon i have uh never heard of this i don't know if there's any youtube videos of this when was it made it was made in june wow that was a long time ago. <laughs> I mean, I guess, yeah, sure, made in June. That was like half a year ago, more than half a year ago, actually. Updated two weeks ago, so I guess he's sort of like still developing the game in a way. Look at this. The year is two and one, seven, eight. That was really difficult to read for some reason. I have dyslexia, man. Don't judge me. The human race is under threat from a powerful organization known as COG. Ah, like, like these things? Hold on. Like these things? These COGs? These COGs? Oh, yeah. I hate those. Those are really scary. I, I always think about them. Being run by machines with advanced artificial intelligence algorithms, the organization seems unstoppable. Flooded in darkness and distress, the remaining humans desperately assemble to create a force called the Resistance, with the goal of overthrowing the COGs. Humanity depends on this resistance is there <laughs> my body didn't want me to keep reading that so it made me sneeze <laughs> but yeah what is this about is this a story game has samson made another hit story game none of us have heard about for some gone forsaken reason i have no idea what's up with armageddon well we're about to find out and hopefully not waste 20 minutes oh that was loud <laughs> sorry that caught me off guard i was talking and it just it just goes <laughs> I like this music. I, I like this music. It's the Sword Fight on the Heights theme. I can get behind this. Wins zero play. Is this like a win-based game? You have to choose a class. This is interesting. I have a feeling this isn't a story game. <laughs> Samson 16 is no longer making story games, apparently. There's a little healing area where I can sit down all relaxed and such. Look at how relaxed I am. This is the true pinnacle of relaxation, guys. Important. It's dangerous out there. Be careful. Your goal is to find and destroy. Oh, wait, no, my bad. It says you goal is to find and destroy the boss. If you die, you lose everything. Good luck. We're counting on you. Well, that doesn't seem very fun. Can't wait to die and lose everything I own. Yeah, this game doesn't really seem related to story games at all. So it looks like he's just fully moved on, I guess. Nothing to do with camping or the camping series now. Which, yeah, good for him. He moved on as a developer. And this game did pretty well. So, I mean, who am I to complain, right? But, uh, I'm confused as to what the hell this is. He told me that it was not safe out here, but it is, uh, pretty safe out here. Assuming from the fact that I haven't died immediately, I'm gonna call it that it's safe out here, probably. There's some barrels that are, like, half my height for some reason. I don't know. Maybe I am a monstrous human being who towers over them like Godzilla. Here's a shop. This is a really weird game. It definitely has a very unique vibe to it, I guess. Which is cool. Yeah, that's cool. It's cool. But, uh, this video is about story games, so... Maybe not the best game to play for this video. Let's move on. Let's go to the next game. We know what Samson 16's been up to. Ever since he disappeared from the face of the planet and was never seen again. Did he, like, make a group instead and is uploading games there? Oh, he did! 115,000 members. God damn, Samson. He's living it up, bro! There's a funds shirt that we're not supposed to buy. It's just a fund as group. Why doesn't he just make the games in the group. This is confusing. <laughs> this is a strange development. Ah, look at these awesome comments posted today. Grub what you love in the camping trip. <laughs> he had to specify in the camping trip. But yeah, with Samson and whatnot being sort of discovered, what happened to the other games? You know what games I'm talking about. The ones that always like copied camping and whatnot. The ones that had very original ideas that I loved playing and engaging in. <laughs> like Camping 3 fan games. Super awesome. Grandma Visit Story. Actually, this was a pretty 
recent one. This is a story game that's still doing well now. I saw Albert made a video on this, so that means it has to be doing well, right? Packstabber Studios. What are they up to, huh? YT Packstabber. It is what it is. This is the guy who makes a bunch of the Roblox obby things. He also made Aquarium Story, which has a shockingly similar thumbnail to his grandma visit story. And then over on the right, you get Fairy Tail Tycoon, which is just god awful. Oh my god. I feel like I'm gonna have a seizure just looking at that thumbnail. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna look up Story now and see what games we find. See how devolved the story genre has gotten because, dear lord, after years of neglect, I can only assume that it's gotten worse and worse. The Ethereal. What the hell is that? This looks, uh, like not a story game. <laughs> the one badge is sh I'm sorry, this was a sponsored game. This wasn't even a story game. I just wanted to play it really badly because I was so concerned by seeing it. But yeah, let's see. What do we got? <laughs> Donut Story Tycoon? This is truly the bottom of the barrel, it would seem. Make your dream donuts. You know, that's always been my goal in life is to open up a donut shop, make my dream donuts. You know how it is. I love dreaming, <laughs> donuts, etc. Many things I can appreciate in this life. Honeycomb was taken. I don't know what that means. I have a feeling this also isn't a story game. So basically the main theme that we've been learning from this game is that uh, story games aren't story games anymore. They are tycoons about making donuts, <laughs> allegedly. Look, man, I know just as much as you do. Don't question me. All right, what game is up next though, huh? Murder Story. This looks like a good one. I wonder if it's new. Let's see what it was uploaded. <laughs> July. Yup, that's new. I'm sure, I'm sure it is. Yeah. Let's play this game that was uploaded in July because why the hell not? I love Murder Story. I'm sure this is really good. But yeah, looking at this, we can sort of see where story games are, where all of them are uh, <laughs> not many people playing. I mean, I might be a stickler, but 136 is not the most. Not as much as Granny. Granny Story. Oh yeah. I love Granny Story, guys. Heck yeah. I love going to Grandma's house and then getting murdered. Awesome. Some relatable moment, right? Server, let's give players time to load. Oh, my bad. Let's gives players time to load. Well, while we are having gives time to load, it's the middle of the video. That means it's time someone's finally here at the new house. Chain. That guy's name is Chain. Are you kidding me? But yeah, it's the middle of the video, which means it's time for me to beg you to subscribe to the channel. Guys, there's a bug going around on YouTube that makes you subscribe to people that you're not subscribed to. So make sure to check that you're unsubscribed from my channel. I don't want anybody subscribed subscribing on accident. Oh no. Yeah, just subscribe if you want to. It helps me out a lot. Your choice. Now back into the game because dear lord, I want to see what Chain's house is like. Personally, I don't want to trust anyone named Chain. That sounds like the name of a pit bull that kills children in its spare time. But hey, my objective is explore my new house. Wait, wait, I have a new house? Wait, this is my new house? This house is mine? I'm making it in the world. Mom and dad can finally be proud of me. <laughs> He'll look at me and go, son, let me put the cigarette out on your face. It'll mean that I'm more important to him. I'm so happy. And also I have a drum set in this new house, which is something to distract from the depressing scenario that I'm describing. Who wants to play drums with a baseball bat? This is an awful decision. Whoa, everyone in the living room, there's breaking news. I mean, okay, I guess. If the news is breaking, uh, that is literally impossible. News cannot break anything. <laughs> Joke's on you, buddy. I'm smarter than you. This is what they look like. Oh, there's a murderer. That's the plot. Please stay inside and call the cops if you see them. Well, I mean, I, I guess. Good thing we know Shane isn't the murderer. That murderer had a different hairstyle than Shane, a, a different race than Shane. So, so I mean, it's, it's good enough, right? Relax, they won't find us. God, I hope they don't. Gee whiz. Whatever, I'm starving. Can we order pizza first? Yes, that's a good decision. There is a murderer on the loose coming to our location. Let's order a large cheese pizza. Who wants to stress eat? That's me. That's why I'm fat. <laughs> Pizza's here. Come to the door. Since when the hell did pizza arrive in like 10 seconds? Here's your pizza. But I think I saw someone creeping in the bushes by your garage. Oh uh, yeah, maybe get the hell out of here. Huh, I'm sure it was just a body or something. You, uh, what? The pizza delivery man says he just saw someone hiding in our bushes near our garage. And Shane is like, it's probably a bunny wabbit. Probably just nature's glory coming to say hello. This is a fantastic experience, I'd say. This is a really good thing. Come to the kitchen, everyone. And let's eat. The only people left in the game are me and Disney Dog Lover. <laughs> and I are best friends. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. But hey, at least we can eat. Me and Disney Dog Lover, my best pal, my only friend. If Disney Dog Lover dies, I'm ending the video straight up. <laughs> this video has a lifespan and that ends when Disney Dog Lover dies. You can tell they're on mobile because they're just struggling so much to walk around. <laughs> they're looking around like they're a blind person trying to feel around the house. No, Disney Dog Lover coming here. Disney Dog Lover, the beds, getting the 
some beds. Oh, Disney dog lover, you're just a goof, aren't you? <laughs> She chose my bed and is standing on top of me. That is awful. Wait, Chain just said good night. I, I thought we just woke up. What? what was that noise? Perhaps it was the stalker outside of our house. It sounded like a broken window. Ah, yeah, you know the norm. Someone is knocking. Oh, no. The person who just broke straight in through the window would definitely knock on the door to get in. They wouldn't just break it down, right? Who would do that? That's just rude. Yeah, I thought we heard a window break. Hey, at least it was just Chain, my buddy who was like a full foot taller than me. Everyone back to bed. We'll check it out tomorrow morning. What do you mean check it out tomorrow morning? Someone just broke the window. That sounds like an immediate health hazard. Is this man insane? Also, was he just standing there all night? That's kind of creepy. <laughs> Wake up, everyone. Let's go eat breakfast. Chain is remarkably ignorant to what is happening. I feel like Chain's ignorance is going to get us murdered at some point in our life. Ah, yes, the broken window. Who could forget? Let's go play in the shards of glass and die. Oh my God, they actually hurt. <laughs> I didn't expect the game developer to actually code it so the shards of glass hurt you. But hey, at least Disney dog lover didn't step on him. Pfft, no way. Probably some kids looking for trouble. Yeah, I think there's maybe a murderer. Oh, I stepped on the glass. Help, I'm bleeding. Wow, I'm a wimp. Quick, find a med kit to save their life. Disney dog lover is too distracted by the pizza. I have to find the med kit by myself. Am I going to die? Please don't let me die. Please. Oh my God, I might die. And the only person who can save me is Disney dog lover, who's playing on mobile and and probably can't even click the med kit. Where is it? I only have 10 seconds. What? Where do I go? No. Where's the med kit? Where's the med kit? Disney dog lover. I'll trust you to find it in there, please. Disney dog lover. You're my only... <laughs> Disney dog lover. Fine, I'll revive. Whatever. I don't want to leave Disney dog lover all by herself. I don't know, Chain. This is serious. I would never leave Disney dog lover alone to the hands of a murderer or something. See you all at the pool tonight at 9 p.m. Ah, uh, yes, someone broke your door, but you want to go swimming. Maybe we should throw some glass shards in the pool so we die even faster. But hey, at least we have this awesome beat going on in the background. This is awesome. I agree. This is really cool. I hope we get murdered and our blood colors the pool red. That would be super awesome. I'm gonna be honest with you. Dare I say, epic. <laughs> Can I push Chain into the pool? Oh my god, can I? Chain, please. Yes, Chain can drown! This is cool! Also, my text isn't going past. Guys, I see people behind that tree. Disney Dog Lover is already on it with the baseball bat. Oh wow, we can just start killing them before the cutscene even starts? Disney Dog Lover, please! Your health is low, Disney Dog Lover! Leave it to me! I don't want you to... Go Bye! Guys, use your bats to kill the murderers! Okay, Chain. How about you use your quick wit to let us swim at night and get murdered, apparently. You're so smart, Chain. This is why we should have stayed inside. Everyone run inside! Except for Chain. He is drowned. It is too late for Chain. Much like a Chain, he sunk in water. Where is he? Everyone run inside! It is the same message. The murderers are here, and there's more! Call the police! Oh no! More? I thought there was only like one, maybe two that we um, murdered, but like, you know, we only ended a few lives. They cut us up a little. We killed them. It's the norm. Guys, look outside. It's them. He looks like he's having some issues climbing in. Everyone upstairs to the bedroom. We'll hide in there. Well, whatever you say, Mr. Chain, my best pal, my only friend. This is awesome. Disney... Disney dog lover left. Disney dog lover. No, you were my only friend. No, Disney dog lover. <sighs> Man, it isn't even worth playing this story anymore. I'm just gonna reset my character and leave. Disney dog lover. My only friend, my closest friend, my ally, my buddy. And they're gone just like the rest of them. Disney dog lover. Man, I don't even wanna make this video anymore. So subscribe if you liked it. <laughs> Die if you don't. This is what happened to Story Games. It's a murder story, I guess. Samson retired. He made a new game. Chain Lemonade made murder story. And uh, that's the answer to the video. With that being said, uh, bye.